Adding your own handwriting to your patterns is a really great way to personalize your brand. There are a number of ways that you can do this, and I'm going to show you a one that I think is fairly simple and straightforward, and that is um, Calligrapher. This is a tool, an online tool that has a free version that you can use to turn your handwriting into a font that you can then install on your computer so that you can use that font in Microsoft Word or other programs to type up your, your pattern. Okay. So this isn't going to be an end-all, be-all tutorial how-to. This is just kind of some high-level steps to give you an idea of what's possible so that you can decide for yourself if this is something you'd like to explore in more detail. So I'm here at calligrapher.com and I'm going to go ahead and start the app. I've created a free account. The first thing that I want to do is create a template. The template includes all the special characters, numbers, letters that you want to include in your handwriting font. With the free version, you have a limited set that you can select. I think it's like 75 characters or something. Um, but we'll just go with the basics. We've got some letters and punctuation here. And we're just gonna choose to download the template. And it by default gives it the name calligrapher template. Then you can download it as a PDF or a PNG. Your choice kind of depends on a number of things. Um, primarily, do you want to use a real pencil or pen to draw on paper? If so, then PNG or PDF would be fine. You'll just print it out and write like you normally would. But if you are an Adobe Acrobat user like me, then you could choose PDF and just stay digital. Um, especially if you have like an iPad with a pen or a Galaxy Tab with a pen and you like to stay digital, then go with the PDF. You'll download it, and that will give you a file that looks like this, with the punctuation and the letters and the numbers and what have you that you selected to be a part of your, your, your font. Okay. At this point, you'll either write out the letters and numbers with the pen or pencil, um, or, you can open the file in Acrobat, like I'm showing here, and use the pencil to draw it digitally. Okay. Once you've completed all of the blocks with all of the letters that are going to be a part of your font, you'll save it or if you're doing it on paper, you will scan it in or take a picture of it with your phone in order to make a digital copy. And you're gonna take the digital copy and you're gonna go back to Calligrapher and go to My Fonts where you're gonna upload the template, the, the page that you just wrote on whether digitally or by hand. And once you've uploaded it, you'll see it here, and then you could say, build font, and give it a name, um, whatever that you want. My silly font. And I'm gonna say build. That's gonna take a minute and then it's gonna process all the characters and it's gonna turn them into individual letters. Now, this is a lot different from just taking a picture of whatever you've written and then using that as an image. These are actually fonts letter by letter. And it gives you two different font files that you can download to your computer. Um, 
your choice is going to be depending on where you want to use them but you'll download them so you can install them right so i'll download ttf and then what i'm going to want to do because i'm on a mac is i'm going to want to open up my font book and i'm going to add by clicking on the plus symbol and there it is right there once i've done that once i've installed the font on my system then i can use word for example and and choose the font that i want to use and the size to put my handwriting in my pattern template or in my pattern. So that is about, yeah, that's, that's about how hard it is. Granted, I've done a very high level approach and you know if you're interested and would like to learn more and feel like you want some support with that go ahead and put a comment down below and i'll get in touch with you and try and help you out some more